Hey everybody, I just wanted to be able to um, send you guys some specific instructions about this article that I'm sending. So the article that I've assigned is The Beagle Has Landed. Um, it is a Leap 2025 smart article, meaning that it will help the students zone in on any leaps like skills that we've taught them this year. Um, this would be beneficial for them in sixth grade. So the way that they'll get to this article is they'll go to their mailbox. Whenever they click their mailbox, it will show them that they have a message from me. And it will say, um, the beagle has landed. They'll just click it. And when they open that mail, they'll be able to click the link that goes to the article. Please, please, please have them begin with the before reading poll. If I can get, there we go. Um, it's just a simple question to ask them, do they agree or disagree with something? And then they'll explain why they feel that way. They will read the article by clicking the article tab. Uh, the article is two pages, so they'll need to pay attention to that and click to the second page as well. After they read the article, they know that they have to complete the activity questions. Um, the activity questions, there are a total of 10 of them. They need to make sure that they answer those as best as possible with Achieve 3000. They know that they have the opportunity to answer the question twice. So if they get it wrong the first time they answer it, it will give them a second opportunity to get the question correct. Um, they'll need to refer to sources. Do not go back to this article tab. What they'll need to do is click refer to sources so that they don't lose their progress on their questions. If they click the article tab, and it will um, delete the work that they've done. Not quite sure why it does that. So they'll need to read the article. At the bottom of the article, what I like is how they include these vocabulary words that the students may not be familiar with. They can play them and play the definition as well. Um, they can just minimize this so that they don't have to keep opening it all over again. After they complete all 10 questions, they will submit each one. They'll do the after reading poll. It just sees that they've changed their mind or their answer on how they felt before they read the article. And this is the part that I am most um, interested in hearing from the students and seeing their responses. We were working on narrative before the school year, um, well, before we ended up getting out that Friday. Um, that was a skill that we had tagged in on. What I like about this is that it's nonfiction information but they need to write a narrative using said information. So what it does is it asks them to write a journal entry from the point of view of a scientist who worked on the Beagle 2 project. Please have your student write their do what strategy on a piece of paper. They know what a do what chart looks like. It is a T-chart. They know exactly how to make um, their information and put it into the chart correctly to help them get their writing done correctly. Um, explain what happened to the spacecraft as if they are the scientists that is working on the project. Tell how they felt about its recent discovery. Use vocabulary words and descriptive phrases from the news story in their answer. So they still have to use um, text evidence, but not in the sense of, according to the article, they may say, as the news story said, this, 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 including their evidence that way. Um, they should complete the stretch article. The reason I tell them to complete that is if they don't do as well on the first activity, what I would do is include, uh, I would use the score from stretch activity. There is a math tab here just to have extra skills that can um, be covered to spiral it all in. And this is actually good math for them to practice. This is the, um, looks like addition and subtraction of time, which is something uh, they've always struggled with, usually in third grade. But by fifth grade, they definitely should have it down. So they should definitely get this correct. If you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask me for help. Um, I will go ahead and post this video to Google Classroom and be looking forward to the next lesson coming up.